Well, basically, doing a documentary. Never really done one before. How are the teachers here at East Hollywood? A lot of the teachers have actually had a pretty big impact on my learning skills and stuff. Like, for example, I mean, I've, I've always been interested in, like, history and shit, but, like, Norm was, like, basically the most original, like, I don't know, he, he, he was just, like, very good at describing stuff, but, I mean, there's, like, a grandma of the school, there's, like, there used to be a mom of the school, which was Tamara, but sadly, like, you didn't really get a meter, but, <laughs> um, Sandy is the grandma, she's pretty, she's pretty lit, if you get her, uh, nervous enough, she'll swear, but, I don't know, like, some of the teachers here can be rude, but, I'm not going to cap, they are like the best teachers that I've had like at any public school. They're just like, they don't give a fuck about the kids. They just want money. And like here, they give it, they, they actually care about you. And I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to swear, but it's okay. <laughs> Spencer loves me. <laughs> Have you ever made a documentary before? Yeah, I actually made a couple last year. Really? So like, who was a part of your group? Uh, these three girls in my class, second period class last year. What was the documentary about? Like it was about like schizophrenic people. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. But after that, I had I went really smoothly because I knew what I was doing. And the documentary went really good after I fixed all my errors. Did you feel like you failed or succeeded? At first, I failed because. Obviously, I didn't know what to do, but after that, I've succeeded in the rest of it, and I fixed everything at the beginning that I didn't know how to do. But now I know how to do everything in the documentary. Alrighty. So, when and where did your documentary take place? So, it took place in the studio, and it took place like halfway through last year. So, it did take place here at East Hollywood High School? Yeah, just around the school area and everything. You never really stayed after school to get like after school shots or anything like that? Well yeah, after school sometimes when I didn't have work, but like mostly after school and during my, when I was at my house shots type stuff. Alright, I've heard that you've done some documentaries before, but like what kind of documentaries were they? Um, well one was, it was about the entire basketball team, like the season and I interviewed a bunch of people on the team, the coaches. Uh, I can't remember what the girls who were helping with, but I helped them too. And it was a really big thing, but we got it done. It was a really good thing. And one was for Larry. We still need to finish it though. He retired last year. You wouldn't know him, but he was a, the math teacher. What's some trials and errors that you had to overcome or make a process and really think about it, like making the documentary? Um, the basketball one, because we filmed it in the studio, and it has a lot of echo in there, so we had to take that into place. We had to do lighting, and we filmed on different days, so we would have to make sure we had the lights in the exact same place, the basketball hoop in the exact same place. Um, that one took a lot of work. There was a lot of obstacles that we hit and had to go through just to get people to come in there. and even do the interviews was kind of a hassle. But in the end, it turned out really great. Um, I'm kind of proud of that one. All right, for someone who's taken documentary class or film, what's one tip or advice you could give? Um, there's a few. I'd say don't stress about it too much and take your time by the top two for sure. Because when you don't take your time, you're for sure gonna mess up. Even if you do take your time, you're for sure gonna mess up. Cause with the basketball one, we went over it a million times and there was still little mistakes in there. But as long as you do your best, take your time on it, I promise you it'll turn out great. <laughs> oh shit. Got you. To be honest, are you asking things? <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing in class today? Um, learning about plankton. And 
Well, I was going to say what is plankton, but like that's kind of irrelevant to the... A plankton. <laughs> <laughs> What's a plankton's predator? I feel like it's kind of weird me being on camera.